I, I really don't mind if you write on paper. It doesn't bother me one bit. All right, here we go. Avery has twice as much money as Tyler. All right, so who are we talking about here? Avery. And Tyler. So come on, guys. A and T. All right, Avery and Tyler. That's what we have. Now, uh, Mr. Cappy, what's the relationship between Avery and Tyler? Uh, Avery has twice as much money. As who? So what's Tyler have? Uh, minus nope. Or divided by nope. Tyler has how Tyler. much? X. Then, oh my gosh, can you please, Oliver? Oh, please. I, Oliver, go outside and take care of yourself. All right, I'm trying to focus and concentrate, and this is all you're doing. I, uh, what am I supposed to do? You're interrupting. That's what you're doing. Avery has how much? Uh, two, X. two X. Okay. And then there's also Evan. Oh, there's also Evan. So we need to put E down. Now Avery has what? Uh, minus Avery has twice as much money as Tyler. And Avery has 175 less than Evan. So how much would Evan have? Evan would have plus X plus 170. Who is? Oh, shh, shh. I'm trying to help him. I'm not. Uh, no, yeah, I know. I, I missed Cap. I, I promise. Nora, let me help him. That's my job. All right. If you got it, go ahead. Go to the next problem. All right, I'm fine. I'm trying to help him. All right, read it again. So, yeah. Um, Tyler has $175. That's what we're looking at right here. So Avery has twice as much money as Tyler. Now, who are they talking about here? Uh, they're talking about Tyler. That's right. So Tyler has what? Uh, what happened to uh, X plus that is better. Nora, is that good now? X plus 175. You understand me, right, Nora? Uh, I wasn't, you know, I just want him. I'm trying to get the people who are struggling a little bit. All right. Is that good for you? Yeah. All right. Yes. Tell me. Who has more, Evan or Tyler? This is where some of you made mistakes. Tyler, who has 175 less than Evan. That means Evan has what? Then how much more? Yes, 175 more than Tyler. Do you agree with that? Yeah. That's hard, right? You got to read carefully. That's all I'm trying to tell some of you guys. Right? You see it now? All right. I'm I'm telling you, I know it's tricky. I know it's tricky. That's why I say you got to read carefully. All right. Now, the next part. Now that we have a relationship between all three. But well, Evan has as much money as Avery and Tyler have together. How much did you purchase? So what do we have? Um that be read it to me. So Avery has wait a minute, wait a minute. No. Evan? Evan, how much does Evan have? As, as much money how much does he have right oh, now? X plus 175. Evan has as much money as? So how do I write that? X plus 175 equals? Yep. Uh, 2X. Minus what, which one? Uh, if Avery has 30 and, and Tyler has 20, mm -hmm. then how much do they have all together? Oh, okay. Yes. So what am I supposed to do with 2X and X? Exactly. Yes. All right, come on now. X plus 175 equals 2X plus X. All right, now, you, you the only way you can get better at that is you have to try yourself. All right, now everybody can solve that tonight. 
What? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. It's just hard for me to explain, right? Uh, the, the first sentence generally is the relationship between the three, correct? Yes. And then the second uh, sentence is usually the relationship that ties them together. Am, am, am I okay with that? Yes. All right. So we'll, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. All right. We'll try again. All right. Solve that tonight. All right. Now, uh, 16, read it. Hold on. So how do I draw? First thing everybody's doing is drawing a rectangle. All right. Now what? Ninety. And where else? On the right or left, up or down? Yes. Yes. There you have it. So what's the equation? Right, I'm liking that. What? Well, how do you find perimeter? Right, so. No, 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 no. you're going to write an equation first. Add up the sides. Two X. Right. Two X plus, plus equals exactly. There you have it. That's what I want everybody to write. All right. That's what I want everybody to do. Yes. Your plans are just like flip up at like one eighty plus. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. It's the same answer, right? It doesn't matter. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, here we go. Next one. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right, Wilson, read it. Tickets for a concert cost eight dollars for adults and school for students. A total of nine hundred twenty was a total of nine hundred twenty tickets were five thousand seven hundred fifty were sold. Okay, so how many how many um types of tickets are they? Seven. And they are adult and students. Adult and students. All right. So how many students came? So it's what? X. X. Now here's the hard part. Who can tell me how many adults? What? Nope, it doesn't say that. You are amazing. That's right. Pat yourself on the back. That's a good job. If you knew that, that is the key to success. 920 is the total. 920 is the total. So if X is the student, the adult would be 920 minus X. So everybody with me? All right. Now, if you wanted to, you could say the adult was X and then the student would be 920 minus X. Would you get the same answer? Yes, you would get the same answer. Now, for those of you guys who are struggling saying, how am I supposed to figure that out? Let's just say there were 100 adults. Then how many students would there have been? 820. So how did we do that? We just did 920 minus 100. Does everybody see that now? All right. So whenever you have the total, I want you to try to remember if this number represents the total, it's the total minus X that gives you the other part. All right. Now, how much for the adult tickets, please? $8. And how much for the student tickets? $4. Now, who's going to tell me what the equation is now? Who, who, who did that? Charlotte, tell me, tell me what the final equation that relates all these things now. Yes, you do. Come on. How much did you spend on adult tickets? For how many? Let's say, let's say, for example, you sold a hundred adult tickets. How much money did you make? How did you do that? 
That's right. So how would I get how much money did the adult tickets were? You are amazing. And then you have the students. How much money did you make on the students? Uh-huh. Four X. And that gave you a grand total of how much money? $5,760. That's perfect. All right. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Anybody have any questions? Uh, you better make it good. All right. That's how much money the adults are. This is how many. Oh, okay. okay thank see. you. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Now, everyone, quickly take a look at 18. 18 is almost the same as 17. No. Here. All right. Now let's go. Collection of, um, who do I want? Mackenzie, thank you. What two things are we talking about here? So what am I going to use? D and N. Thank you very much. How many dimes do we have? Nope, that's not what that says. Right. Then how many nickels? Shh. Sixty minus X. Thank you for listening. That is correct. How much is a dime worth? Shh. Ten cents. How much is a nickel worth? So how do I write five cents? 0 0.05. All right, now how do I write my equation? Um, yes, good. You are amazing, girl. Equals? Yes. Okay. We're on track now. That's pretty good. All right. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, everybody, of course, can solve that. Everybody can solve that. All right. 19. Okay. Max, you're up. Read it. The length of a rectangle is so we're going to draw a rectangle first. All right. Now tell me. Uh, it's nine centimeters more than the width. So the width we're going to call is what? Um, X. And then the length is called? Nine. No. That's not what it says. Read it to me. Nine centimeters more than the width. Uh, X plus nine. Thank you. Now what goes on the left side? Um, <laughs> you put X plus nine. On the left? On the X. Yes, and on the bottom? Um, X plus nine. Now what? Um, so it would be two X plus nine. Come on, Max, add everything up. How many X's are all the way around? Four X. Yes, sir. Come on, Max, you can do this. Four X plus 18 equals what? Uh, some there you go. And everybody solved that. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. Jake, oh, it's the same thing, Oliver. It's the same thing. What? Can I ask to go over after class? Go over what? Yeah, I missed I miss some of the explanation. Because you're not with me all the time. I'm, 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 I know. I know you are. I know you are. I appreciate you're back on track now. All right. So concentrate now. All right, you made 105 on the last test. All right, I don't have time to wait on you. I'm not doing it, remember? We're not waiting on you. All right, here we go, number 20. Jacob, go. All right, so what? how many buckets are we talking about? Large and small. All right, define them, please. All right, so large buckets holds three more gallons. So the three plus two x is what? Is large 
right? But I prefer you say 2x plus 3, but it's the same thing, right? Yeah. And would all the small numbers be x? Yes, it would be. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So far, so good now. Now read it. It took two small buckets and five large buckets to fill 63 gallon tank. So how would I do this? Um, would equals 63. Would you do two x plus plus um plus parentheses? Plus, wait now, plus five, plus three, two, plus three, equals 63. Wow, come on. There you go. You can get them all right. Get them all right. All right, that was a nice one because that was a little bit different. All right, that was a little bit different. All right, two smalls plus five large. All right, two smalls plus five large equals 63. That was really nice. What? Um, could you just like go straight to put twelve x plus fifteen? I'm not doing any of that. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I don't want you to do that. Oh, I mean, yes, 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 yes. I see what you're saying. Of course, right. I want you to do the mental math, yeah. but don't make mistakes. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let me have. Um. All right, Ryan. So hold on. So I need to draw a rectangle. All right. And what am I doing? And? Where does the 2x go? Well, because why? Why do I like to do it this way? Why why did I not put two X and X like you said? Large and small. Right. right, exactly. Does everybody see that? I, I'm going when when I know some sides larger, I'm gonna go ahead and make that the larger side. Okay. Okay, now I have to draw a what? So I'm gonna draw a second rank rectangle. Now, again, make sure you put up here length, and this represents the width. All right. So now a second rectangle, which is, go ahead. Accordingly, eight centimeters longer and three centimeters shorter than the first rectangle. It has a perimeter of 154 centimeters. Okay. A second, which is eight centimeters longer. So how would I represent that? 2x plus, uh, plus eight. Yes. And then? And three centimeters shorter, uh, three minus x. Or x minus, x minus three, correct? So now, which one has a perimeter of 154? Uh, the ladder, right? Here. Yes. So what's the perimeter of that? Tell me what. So write the perimeter as an equal. Yeah, the the yes. So for, um, uh, four x. For, um, uh, for, um, uh, 6X Good. Plus, um, uh, plus 10. Plus 10 yes. equals? Equals 154. All right. I'm pretty happy with you on that. Really nice. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. uh, we, when you put your hand up, we're under that assumption. Um, so are we getting three inches shorter? Because... Would, would it shorter be like two x minus three? No. Two x plus eight. Minus eight three. centimeters longer, and three centimeters shorter. So it's longer than the length by eight, and shorter by three. <laughs> okay. How far did I say to go up to, guys? Um, twenty four. Twenty four. Okay, a couple more to go. Okay, I like 22 also. Okay. Yeah. 
you read. Austin, you're up. So how many shifts are we dealing with? Right, so we have, right, we have two, right? So we're gonna call them a six hour and an eight hour shift, all right? Now, what do I label what? Mm -hmm. But convert this first. Come on. Twice as many six hour shifts. How many eight hour shifts did he work? How many eight hour shifts did he work? Nope. How many eight hour shifts does it say? Does it say how many eight hour shifts? So that's automatically what? Oh, X. X, right? Now, how many six hour shifts? Yes, there we go. Does that make sense now? Right? So how many hours did he work here? How many? Yeah, he worked a total of 280. So how do I figure out the equation? But that's not, that's how many hours they worked, how many shifts they worked, not how many hours. What do I have to do? Let's say I worked three six-hour shifts. How many hours is that? If I worked three six hour shifts, no, no. I'm asking you, if I if I worked three six hour shifts, how many hours did I work? There you go. So if I worked two X hour shifts, if I worked two X six hour shifts, how would I find out the total number of hours? What would I have to do to those two numbers? No. If I worked, let's look at this. Let's say I worked 15 eight-hour shifts. That would make me work 36-hour shifts. So how many hours did I work? No. No, that's how many shifts I worked. Each shift is different hours. You with me? So watch. This would be 180 hours. This down here would be 120 hours. You see that? Okay, now, now listen to me. I understand because you, you don't do this very often, right? So I can understand the confusion. Generally, you either work six hours or eight hours at a job. Sometimes you do part-time jobs. You with me? So if I work a six-hour shift, that means I worked for six hours. An eight-hour shift means that I worked eight hours and then went home. So if I work X eight-hour shifts, that means I worked a grand total of 8X hours. You with me? If I worked 2X shifts, six-hour shifts, that means I do six times 2x and that'll tell me the total hours for the six hours and this will be the total for the eight hours right so i just have to multiply this by six and i multiply this by eight and that will tell me the total number of hours which is 280 you you see it now a little bit all right so just highlight it and redo it Highlight it and redo it. All right. I said highlight it and redo it. All right. 23. What? You guys, I, I'm okay. I'm okay with you writing it down, but I, I, I really just don't want you writing it down. 
just to write it down because you copied what I did. All right, I want you to think about it. All right, here we go. Tricky. All right, tell me, Norm. Hold up a second. So I'm going to go with walnuts and peanuts. And these are boxes, right? Yeah. Boxes. Oh, right, hold on, hold on. Not pecans. We're not talking about pecans. There you go. Pecans. We're not a can. Pecan. All right. Shh, shh, shh. It's a joke. It's a joke. All right. Some people say tomato. All right. Shh. All right. So the walnuts are in what? How many pounds? Two pounds. And the pecans are in three pound boxes. Say that again. Yeah, but it says there were 24 fewer. Yeah. Right? So X and X minus 24. That's why I prefer that you do it. I don't care that you're putting plus 24 down. All right, for one or the other. I'm just not trying to confuse people. All right, there were 24 fewer pound, 24 fewer two pound boxes of walnuts. All right, so this, everybody under needs to understand, this represents the boxes. This represents the boxes. All right, so then how many pounds are there for walnuts? Thank you for doing that. And how many pounds for pecans? And that is a grand total of 462. That's correct. Yes, that's the trick to these problems. You think you can get them right and still miss it. All right, that's why you're writing it down. Just think on your own. You don't need to. All right. Did I ask you to do up to 24? Is 24 our last one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so 24 is the one I want you to set up tonight on your own. Well, because if you just solve for X, I didn't answer the question. The question is find the total weight of the box of pecans. Do you hear me? You got to find the total weight. You always got to answer the question. All right, so I'm pretty happy with you guys. All right. So I want everybody to try 24. Everybody's got to try to set 24 up and then everybody's got to go back and just now solve it and make sure you answer the right question. Is everybody good on this? Uh, I thought you were solving for the full weight of the... Well, we're solving for X. X is, the, X is just the pecan boxes, not the weight of the boxes. I solved the weight. Well, how much does each box weigh? How much? Yeah. So if I want to know how much the pecans weigh, I take my answer to X and multiply it by what? Perfect. Yes. And then my walnuts, I'd multiply by. Yes, sir. You see what I'm saying now? All right. Please try. All right. Please work. All right. No reason for anybody to be upset. Just keep practicing. Keep trying. All right. We set them up. All right. We set them up. I want you now to go ahead and knock out 24 on your own. And then tomorrow I'm going to give you the answers. And then we're going to continue with the next eight or nine. Anybody have any questions with that? All right, good job. Good job. Get to work.